Alright, let's just get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do is remake this script, change this, and make this, this player, change this to 1. This is going to indicate 1 rebirth. Okay, so now um, we're going to go into the event script, and in the event script, we're going to check if the player has enough clicks, if the player has enough clicks for them. Uh, for the rebirth. Also here, keep this as a player, but also change it. This is going to be how many rebirths, so make the rebirth. Here, the only thing you need to change is rebirth. And then... Yeah, also this change to rebirth. And yeah, that's pretty much it for what we need to change. Make the rebirth frame visible. And in this frame, insert a text button, customize it however you want. This is going to open more the more rebirths menu. Rename, make sure to rename it to more rebirth button. Okay, there we go. Duplicate the rebirth frame and uh, rename it this duplicated one to more rebirth frame. This rebirth frame make invisible. Here we can remove this. We can basically remove everything. You can keep the title though. Make the title say more rebirths. Okay, so next. Um, keep this button, but add a scroll, scrolling frame. Insert the rebirth button into the scrolling frame. And uh, make sure to make the scrolling frame back from sharp pencil one. Okay, and now add a UI grid layout. And we can make it... Yeah, you, set it, you can set it to this. Actually, resize this one. I'm going to resize the scrolling frame that it that the scroller act would be like here. Yeah, I'm going to make it uh, 0.01 in this UI grid layout, make it center and uh, resize the cell, the cell size to however you want. Delete this. Now I'm going to make the rebirth button a bit better looking. Go into this local script and make it 3. Then another local script in the button. And this local script rename show show needed. Okay. Okay. You can name this three rebirth button. In this more rebirth frame, insert a text button. Um, name the text X. Yeah, that's good. I'm not looking to make it look good. Here, is going. This is going to be name close button, and then insert a local script. There we go. Okay, also now if you want to make more rebirth buttons, you can always just duplicate them. Like, uh, I'm gonna name this 5 rebirth button, and then like 10 rebirth button. And then you just have to go into the this local script, make it 5, and into this local script, and it make here 5 rebirths. Yeah. And then go into the 10 rebirth button. Make this 5, and it in, into the, wait, oh wait, here it's supposed to be 10, and then also here, 10, and also 10 rebars. Okay, and now we can make this frame invisible. Oh yeah, here, we need to make this more rebars button do something. Enter the local script. Q. 
Okay, now make this invisible. And now we can check if it if everything works. Okay, something didn't work. Oh yeah, here. Go into the more reverse frame. Just go into every single one. Every single script and remove the dot leader stats. I press more. As you can see, it shows everything which I need. And now if I press this, as you can see, it gave me 10 rebirths and now I need 600. Everything works fine.